My name is Bill Blakemore, and I will be your moderator for the evening. The kinds of things that will be said here on this stage this evening are the kinds of things over which wars have been started and fought, or at least upon which wars have been blamed. But no fisticuffs. <laughs> if you hear outrageous things said here that give you the feeling of um, uncontrollable bellicosity, please step outside until it passes. <clears throat> Could people do me a favor? I want an informal poll. Could you please raise your hand if you agree with the following statement? Humans and other animals have evolved through Darwinian natural selection without any divine intervention. Okay. Without any divine intervention. You are very odd. <laughs> no, no offense, because I, I, I think so too. But you are a small, weird minority of Americans. <laughs> and, and I have written at least three papers trying to figure out what makes you so strange. <laughs> Well, interestingly, Still, Nina didn't raise her hand. Oh, that's because but my hands are cold. So and I'm did I. <laughs> but Lorenzo did. I raised my hand. And I wasn't sure whether I should raise my hand or not because I believe that God created the universe and uh, provided the universe with all of the potential that it needed. I believe that evolution occurred through natural processes rather than supernatural processes, but I'm not at all sure that God does not intervene in the world through natural processes, through processes that are completely indistinguishable from things that we would scientifically assert are natural processes. Why do you still believe in God? Why do you still have faith in God? What do you mean still? <laughs> As opposed to... Well, I'm, I mean, I mean th there's, there's a lot... Th th there's a, there's a tremendous amount in that still. What, 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 what's behind the still that you've said? Well, there are indeed stages of religious maturation yeah. and maturation in understanding our faith. Right, and you think the end of that should be atheism? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that could have been implied by my question. <laughs> <laughs> my problem is that this whole God thing, this whole God question, it's turned into an intellectual, a conceptual problem. And to me, the God issue is a question of experience. For example, I want people I love not to die. I want uh, friendships that are not betrayed. I want uh, justice. You know, there are desires that, that seem to make no sense, that, that appear, in fact, to be irrational. It's true that they don't, you know, these desires don't make me reproduce, but uh, what do you know? Anyway, <laughs> there, there is, I admit, a certain uselessness to this in terms of the fact that nothing in the world seems to correspond or answer these desires. Okay, my point, I think all that I ask of myself and I think it's reasonable to ask for everybody else, is to be faithful to that experience, to that, and, and explore the implications of this. And if something is found that explains it, so that this, the question disappears, then fine, that's the end, and that's that. You understand the problem is I'm agreeing with everything you're saying. <laughs> and, 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 and so, so there's something, either, either I'm not an atheist or you're not a theist or we're... <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 I but you know something? I am very happy this is happening. It always happens. I don't... <laughs> there's all sorts of things in the world and in our minds that, that exist that are, I think, very amenable to a scientific worldview. I actually think mystery is a core part of the scientific motivation. I actually think it's better satisfied by what we call science than what we call religion. I think scientific accounts of the origin of life and the universe are often dazzling in a way that, say, biblical accounts are not. So to the, what is sometimes described as the ultimate question, which some people say science can't even come near, which is how amazing it is that anything exists at all, is something that, Paul, you're, um, you're comfortable with as, yes, that's a big mystery, and none of your work has made that one disappear. Oh, oh God, no. So what did you say? So, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I knew he would wear me down.